What is going on everybody? Welcome to episode 6 of Madden Sunday School. First episode in Madden 18. Super excited. And today the passing concept that I want to go over is called spacing. Now it can be found if you sort by concept in your playbook. Uh, go to quick passes and then it'll be towards the bottom spacing right here. And basically if you take a look at it and look at the different spacing plays, uh, you'll see it's a three receiver route combo where basically it spreads the defense horizontally and takes advantage of the fact that they won't have enough underneath defenders uh, to guard everybody basically. You want to stretch one or two defenders horizontally enough to where they can't guard all three receivers. And so uh, as such this is obviously a very good passing concept against zone coverage and not so great against man-to-man -man since really your receivers aren't being very active there's not much cutting going on there you're not really gonna create any type of separation it's just very quick routes one to the flat and basically two hooks over the middle so a man-to-man -man coverage not ideal against this concept for the offense um, but if your opponent is running a lot of zone coverages this could definitely be a concept you go to in that third and short fourth and short situation if you want to take advantage of them underneath so in this video, the play I'm going to be running to kind of show the examples is right here, the X spacing switch out of the gun bunch formation. And first and foremost, we're just going to go ahead and run it against a standard Tampa 2. So this is kind of what it looks like here. Um, basically, you have Julian Edelman on the flat route. You have Gronkowski on the middle hitch and then Hogan over on the inside hitch. So you're stretching the defense horizontally underneath. Basically, uh, you want two defenders to have to choose between guarding Hogan, Gronk, and Edelman. That's the idea. And so what you're going to see against this cover two defense as I snap the ball here is that you're going to get both Gronk and Edelman on the outside are going to get covered by the respective uh, cloud flat and vertical hook over the middle. So right here, snap of the ball. And you're going to see your first read you always want to be to the flat in my opinion i think that's the best first read so you always look to the flat right here julian edelman covered by the cloud flat out there in tampa 2 and then you read you basically read outside to in that's what i normally do so you go outside to inside so first julian edelman okay not there now you go to gronkowski so you look at gronk okay the vertical hook out of that cover two is all over him so you want to go next receiver okay next receiver Chris Hogan sitting wide open over the middle of the field and the reason he is wide open you might say why isn't this linebacker covering him on a standard Tampa 2 uh, this linebacker is assigned to a mid read so basically the mid reads assignment is to make sure that nothing goes vertically up the seam in a cover 2 his goal is basically uh, to not let anything get deep behind him over the middle of the field and then once he ensures that okay I'm not getting beat deep now he can clamp down on the underneath route. So that's why he's dropping back so much at the start of the play. And then you see he recognizes, okay, nothing's going to beat me deep. So now I can clamp down on this underneath route. By the time he decides he can clamp down, uh, you make the throw. And Hogan already has the catch, falls forward for, you know, gain a 9 or 10 yards. Now spacing isn't a fancy concept that you're going to get huge plays off of. But like I said, very good for short yard situations. And that's going to be the consistent behavior you see against that cover two. You're going to see that that inside hitch route uh, by Chris Hogan in this case is going to be open every single time as long as they are in a standard Tampa two and that middle linebacker is playing a mid-read zone. So that's uh, kind of what you can look for against cover two. And really cover two is the most well-equipped zone defense to defend against this concept because of the fact that cover two has you know the most underneath zones out of all the like standard zone coverages if that makes sense so you cover two is essentially a two deep five under zone style you cover three you have three deep four under and then cover four is a four deep three under so every time you go up a stage you lose underneath defenders and that's really what you need uh, to defend against spacing so right here against cover three uh, you're going to see in this case Edelman to the outside is going to be open basically every single time because that curl flat defender is not does not respect uh, that flat enough to shoot out there immediately also uh, in this instance he's not in good enough positioning whereas last time you know in a cover two this guy would be guarding the flat so he's got that outside positioning in this case uh, this guy is in the curl flat so he already starts off with bad inside positioning on an outside breaking route and as you see he just doesn't shoot out there quick enough because that's not what a curl flat does so you're going to be able to hit this out route more times than not against cover three now for example say this 
guy was already out there. Say your opponent pre-snap, you know, took this guy and dragged him out here to get him in better position to defend against that out route by Edelman. Well, then that's when you come over the middle and say, okay, then you would end up reading this guy and you would pick, say, this guy's covering Edelman. So then you go inside and say, whoever this defender right here picks, whether it's Hogan on the inside hitch or Gronk on the middle hitch, uh, you throw to whoever he doesn't pick. Right here, he was actually kind of in no man's land, so you probably could have hit either one. Uh, but that's kind of the idea you want to go for and kind of the progression you want to have against the cover three in the case of, you know, that route on the outside being guarded. Now, there is a play called cover three hard flat where basically those curl flats are turned into hard flats on the outside and they will play much more aggressively on the outside uh, you know flat route so in that case uh, that's basically what you would do you'd would come to the inside and you would say okay that hook curl defender that's playing over the middle who does he pick he picks Hogan you throw to Gronk he picks Gronk you throw to Hogan but routinely you're gonna see basically right there cover three not ideal defending against spacing especially if that hook curl defender is hesitant and especially if they don't have good outside positioning uh, with their curl flat player. So that's kind of uh, the behavior you're going to get to see against cover three. Now, the last zone defense that you kind of want to go over is going to be cover four. Now, cover four, obviously, probably going to be the most ill-equipped to defend against this concept because of the fact that, like I said earlier, a cover four, four deep, only three defenders underneath and really only one in the area. It's that quarter flat on the right side here. I'm out of nickel normal. And so what you're basically going to see here is you're going to have the same action on the right side uh, with that quick out route. That quarter flat just doesn't respect it enough. And then even if he does shoot out right there, you can see uh, Hogan ended up dropping the ball. But you have a little bitty window to try and hit uh, that inside hook to Hogan as he cuts right there. Bad read. The defender sat on it. But essentially uh, what you're going to want to do against cover four is same thing as you did against cover three and hit that out route and make them respect the flat. Always make them respect the flat. Never get content or n never get you know antsy and force your reads elsewhere if they're not respecting the first read on the play throw it until they respect it don't say okay just because I've thrown the flat two or three times now I have to start hitting other routes always take what the defense gives you until they respect it enough to take it away and in this case if they're in a cover four defense and that flat is open take it every single time now I went over three different zone defenses right there obviously there are a lot of other zones um, right here I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda of rattle off a few uh, you still have your standard you know cover three and cover two zone blitzes uh, but that's gonna be similar to kind of facing the zones themselves right so say in the case of buck slant show two it's a three deep uh, three under zone blitz you know rush five drop six into coverage and that's basically gonna get the same action as you would in a normal cover three you always wanna look to the flat if that seam flat defender shoots out to guard the flat then you come inside and you know make your progression same thing with you know a cover two style blitz two deep four under say nickel blitz two super popular from last year uh, that's where you want to go if the flats not open like it is or like in normal Tampa two against spacing that outside cornerback does a great job of defending the flat and then you come inside basically a two deep four under zone blitz is gonna be the same essentially as a standard Tampa two just without that mid read defender so that inside hook that was being run by Hogan should be even more wide open against something like a nickel blitz too. Now, obviously there are other zones such as say cover nine, cover six. Um, cover nine essentially is Tampa two on one side and cover four on the other. So you're gonna have to read whatever side you're running that spacing concept on. If you're running it on the right side against this cover nine, then you're basically running it against cover four and make your reads accordingly. In that case, the flat should be open. Now, if you run it on the left side against the cover nine, Obviously, cover nine left side looks like Tampa two, so adjust your reads accordingly. The flat might not be open. You might have to go to your second or third read over the middle of the field. Um, and ideally, uh, you are running this concept against zone coverage, like I said in the beginning of the video right here. I'll go ahead and show you guys against cover two man. And it might be a little better because this Edelman route might be able to get a little bit of separation uh, to the outside because Edelman, it is a decent route and Edelman's a good route runner, but Typically, what you're going to see is this outside receiver who runs the flat pattern is going to be on a flat like that, uh, which isn't going to be a great man-to-man -man beating route. And so basically, if you want to run this against man-to-man, -man, you're going to have to throw as soon as they turn around and hope they hold on to the football. And, and that's kind of not what you really want to do. So uh, that's why I would recommend against uh, that cover two, or, or why I would recommend against running this against a man-to-man -man coverage. But against zone, obviously, 
great concept to run it against. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. And uh, let me know what I can do better for next time. If you have any ideas on something you want to see me go over, definitely uh, let me know in the comments. But until next time, guys, take it easy. Thank you.